One, two, three, four. Yeah, your heart. Welcome back to or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lauren. Welcome. Make sure you stay and subscribe. We just hit 50k, which is so exciting. And I'd love to have you a part of the fam if you wanted to join the fam. And really quickly, make sure you like and comment on this video because both of the things really help me grow and support my channel. And I respond to all my comments. So if you want to comment something, go ahead. We can chat down below about literally anything you want. If you have questions, if you just want to say hi, anything. And make sure you follow my Instagram. It's just Lauren Doan. We also just hit 10k on there, which is so, so, so so exciting and just so many amazing things happening and I'm so grateful so this is like my most highly requested video ever it is just how I am productive and how I stay productive how to be productive everything of that nature because I started growing a lot on my channel from my productive day in my life specifically so everyone always comments like oh my gosh how do you do it how are you productive how do you stay productive I'm literally so lazy I just lay in bed all day so I came up with my own personal tips to share with you about things that I specifically do and then I also posted an Instagram story asking you guys for your most productive top productive tips and I got so many responses so I'll also be sharing those at the end of the video but first I'm just going to be going through all of the ones that I am sharing with you myself okay so I actually wrote a list of things in my notebook the first thing is making to-do lists I swear by this productivity tip. If I could tell you anything, to-do lists are the number one thing that has definitely kept me productive. I've always made to-do lists my whole entire life, but I used to just make them like on my laptop in like the sticky note section or like the notes section and stuff like that. And it really was never like, I was never too into it until I started writing them actually in a notebook. Like this one, there's just something so specific and satisfying and so accomplishing about crossing something off of your to-do list. And specifically me, I know my specific to-do and how I write them have motivated you guys so much. You have sent me so many, so many, so many of your to-do lists and I love sharing them on my Instagram stories when you guys tag me in them. But you say like my to-do lists inspire you so much and that just makes me so happy because to me it's just a to-do list. Like I never thought I was really doing anything special until I started sharing it and getting such amazing feedback, which was crazy. But that's what started happening. So basically I just write the day on top and then I will list out things that are very specific such as wake up, such as brush my teeth, such as wash my face, make coffee, stuff like that and I just go through my day in my mind and picture everything that I want to get done and like just everything that I want to do in that day and that I need to do in that day. I will write all the specifics down and then cross them off as we go along and that just makes me feel so good when I finally have a full completed to-do list page. If you want to check out any of my to-do lists, I have a huge highlight on my Instagram page about so many to-do lists that I've posted and stuff like that so if you need to get motivated, definitely go check check out that highlight. And then going along with that, just getting a cute notebook or journal that you are in love with and then also brush pens and marker pens whatever you, like suits you I guess so I actually created this notebook and I was selling them when I hit 50k but I actually sold out but I am restocking so make sure you stay tuned for my restock but this is what my to-do list notebook looks like I love dot gridded paper it just makes it so much neater and nicer for me so getting a notebook that you love is key they sell so many at like Target TJ Maxx Ross home goods so many places for so cheap so affordable and they're the best and then also getting pens my favorite right now are from Amazon I will have them linked down below I mentioned them in my back to school supplies haul but you guys can go check those out um I love them so much I also love zebra mild liners they're also the best but they are more pricey so if you want a more affordable option make sure you go check the ones that I'll link below Okay, kind of feeding off of that, making your to-do list for the day, the night before you are actually doing it helps so much because you are not taking the time out of your morning. My nephew is staring at me through the window. You're not taking time out of your day in the morning to actually write your to-do list. You're writing it the night before, which means you're more likely to get the stuff done in the morning because it already says what time you're planning on waking up. It just it already says everything that you're going to do. So if you wake up with a productive mindset that you're going to get all those things done, you're more likely to get it done. Okay, waking up early is my next tip. Everybody says this and everyone struggles to wake up early, apparently. Um, I do too. I try to get up at 7 to 7.30. On most days, most days it does not happen 
and I end up getting up at like 9.30, but that's totally okay. That doesn't mean you can't be productive that day. Just getting an early start for me personally helps me be more productive during the day because I started early and I'm more likely to get everything done earlier in the day, so I'll have more time to treat myself later in the day, if that makes any sense. The next thing that I do in the mornings to really start my day off right is I open all of the windows in my room and open my side door because I do personally have a side door that goes into the backyard. It's just an extra little thing that I like to do, but it just brings in so much fresh air into my room. Windows bring in such natural light and like sunlight literally wakes me up. If I'm laying in bed and I can't get up, I will half asleep, reach over to my blinds, open them, and then I'll feel more awake just because there's sunlight hitting me. So that's just something I do. It really helps me. I also like to plan out some of my days on Google Calendar. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just a website from Google. You can share it on like a bunch of your devices. So if you do it on your laptop, it'll also transfer over to your phone and your iPad and stuff like that. I like to do those on busy days when I have to film, edit, um, go places, stuff like that, just so I can time block certain things. Because when you don't time block, you kind of get all jumbled and either you'll cram a bunch of stuff at once and then get burnt out or you just won't get everything done. But time blocking on Google Calendar is something that is so, so, so helpful, especially when you're in college or high school and you have time slots for classes. You can like figure out when you can have time to do homework and stuff like that. So time blocking on Google Calendar, planning your days in general on Google Calendar is so helpful. The next thing is also so important and it is to find a reason that you want to get up. So personally for me, I get so excited to make my morning coffee. Why? I have no idea. Literally, if I don't even feel like drinking it, I still want to make it so badly just because it is so satisfying to me and so good and it just makes me really happy to actually make the coffee. So if you find something that you want to do, to help you get up in the morning, whether that's doing yoga, working out, going to run, read a book, journal, anything. Just try to find one thing that motivates you to get out of bed. Like I said, mine is making coffee. <laughs> Next tip is to work in a clean space. If you have a desk in your room, I highly, highly, highly recommend working at your desk, no matter how comfortable your bed is. Work at a desk because physically like sitting up helps you just concentrate more rather than if you're laying in your bed so comfortable you're not going to want to do anything you're just going to want to lay there on your phone or on your laptop watching videos i've been there no hate it happens to everyone but still working at a desk is so so helpful just keeping your desk clean if you have clutter everywhere you're not going to want to get anything done and if your desk is cluttered you're going to end up working somewhere else such as your bed so if you have a desk in your room or a desk anywhere in your house i highly recommend working there and keeping it clean next tip is to wear comfy clothes a lot of people in their productivity videos they say that you should like dress up for the day in order to feel like you're going somewhere just so you're feeling cute stuff like that but for me that just doesn't work for me i have to be comfortable in order to get things done i have to be able to feel like i'm really not wearing any clothes like nothing that'll make me feel uncomfortable so i love just wearing loungewear shorts and like a crew neck if it's a little chilly or just a t-shirt stuff like that but stuff that's still cute but that you're comfortable in i'm not saying wear your pjs like your matching pj set from Victoria's Secret. I'm just saying get a comfy pair of shorts, get a comfy loungewear t-shirt, make it a cute outfit, throw on a gold necklace, and you'll still look cute. So next thing is to document your productivity. By this, I mean if you have an Instagram, something like that, posting on your story and just like showing, oh, this is my productive workspace for the day, or these are all the things I'm getting done for the day. Posting a picture of your to-do list to motivate other people to be productive and also to hold yourself accountable on there is also very helpful. That's what I do. I love posting my to-do list on there not only so you guys can see them and like repost them and be inspired by them but also just hold myself accountable and I'll feel bad if I don't get things done on my to-do list personally which is not a good habit just sharing things like that with other people helps hold you accountable going along with that planning a productive day with a friend is very very helpful also and I'm not saying have one together like at your house but like text your friend and be like hey let's both have very productive days tomorrow we're gonna text each other make sure we hold ourselves accountable share our to-do list with each other just make sure we get things done just text a friend try to plan a day where you both can get so many things done together and then maybe have a sleepover 
after and just go celebrate together that you both had really good days and got a lot done. Another thing that a lot of people would recommend is to be active in the morning. Whether that's just like a 10 minute morning stretch or anything, working out in the morning I think like is actually proven to like wake you up and make you feel physically better through the day. Um, I personally like working out later in the day but I know a lot of people like working out in the morning just because it helps them wake up and accomplish something. The next tip, I have always loved candles but I've never thought about keeping one right by my workspace until my friend Julia Chris um, mentioned that in one of her videos that she always has a candle candle lit when she's working and ever since I started doing that I've just felt so much better. Get a good smelling candle, light it, smell that candle while you work and it looks cute burning next to your laptop so pick a good candle and light it. <laughs> next thing is to have some good yummy snacks. They don't have to be healthy snacks just things that'll keep you at your desk. If you're gonna be always hungry throughout the day, you're gonna wanna keep getting up, going to the kitchen, coming back, going to the kitchen, coming back, even if you're not even hungry and you're just bored and wanna check the fridge. Just keep some snacks in your room. Like I personally keep a lot of granola bars and like healthier options in my room. I try to, I also have Cheez-Its, but I do have like healthier protein granola bars and stuff like that. So just keeping things in your room so you don't have to keep leaving your room. And the last tip that I personally have for you guys is to make your bed first thing in the morning. There is literally a book called make your bed have I read it no but I've heard about it and it just talks about how making your bed in the morning helps for such a productive day ahead because you accomplish something so small in the morning that you will be more inclined to accomplish things later on in the day and also if your bed is made you're not gonna want to climb back in it. you're not gonna want to lay on it because it will be made you're not gonna want anyone to touch it because you already made it and it just helps to not climb back in bed and it's just preps your day for more productivity okay you guys so those are the tips that I personally had for you guys about specifically how I manage to be productive every day and like share my productivity with you guys. So now I'm going to go on my Instagram story and share all the tips that you guys actually gave me to share in my video. And like I said, I got so many tips and I'm just going to quickly share all of them. Just share the things that help you guys be productive because we all need as much productivity as we can get. <laughs> so I'm just literally going to read them off. Hopefully you guys can soak in all the information one by one. Set times for every task. Usually only do it for the morning tasks because I'd stay in bed. Give yourself a time limit for each task. Mental health breaks when you need them, not when you deserve them. Don't just rely on little spurts of motivation. Learn how to motivate yourself. Not cramming, taking little breaks, and time blocking if needed. Having a good workspace. You need to be able to work without getting distracted. Starting off with the tasks that are quicker to cross off your list. Play some banger upbeat tunes. Put the phone away. Don't procrastinate. Just do it. Taking mini breaks. Don't try so hard to do everything all at one time. The app called Focus. Set timers. Be as productive as possible in a one hour window. Take a break and repeat. Put your phone on airplane mode so there's no distractions. Put on a podcast, flashcards, if you're trying to learn something. Consistency. Waking up every day with the mindset that today will be a productive day. Yes. Color code the most important things, least important, and then which ones will take you longer. Use the app Forest. Log out of social media while doing stuff on your laptop or your phone. Knowing the time you have and planning. After being productive, just watch Lauren's vlogs. <laughs> Pray and do your devotions. Get excited for it. Having a set routine you follow every day. Make a Lauren Doan to-do list. Think of a reward. Don't depend on motivation, but discipline. Get work done before lunch. Look at motivational quotes on Pinterest. Watch Lauren Doan. Use bright pens or highlighters to highlight notes to keep you motivated. Take breaks every now and then to stay focused. Drink some coffee and get started. After waking up, try not to use your phone for the first hour. Start your day with time with God. Tell yourself you're going to start eating healthy and productive, but do it. Music with no lyrics and look at your short and long-term goals. Do yoga in the morning. Wake up at sunrise because natural light helps a lot. Do the worst thing first also known as what you're avoiding. You don't have to wake up at 7 a.m., but you have to set an alarm. It sets me in a productive mood. Yes. Have a good attitude. Constantly reminding myself of why I'm doing what I'm doing. I like to read as soon as I wake up instead of going on my phone. Use a calendar to write down all your schoolwork due so you don't forget. Wash your face and drink water. Make a little prizes for every accomplishment you've done. Listening to white noise. Prioritize sleep. Getting ready when you wake up. Try switching locations. Don't worry if something doesn't work out as planned. Yes. 
Find your most productive hours to do the tasks which require more attention. Meditating. Use stationery that inspires you and motivates you. Watch a good productive day in the life while getting your day started. Make sure everything you need is close and ready. Be productive for an hour. Take a 15 minute break each hour that you are productive. Drive towards the satisfaction of getting your tasks done. Just start. Most of the time, that's the hardest part. Change your workspace. Make a good coffee. Put some jewelry on and listen to music. Lock Instagram website on your computer. Watch Study With Me real-time videos or get a person to study with. Don't be too hard on yourself. It won't make you enjoy what you're doing. Watch someone who motivates you to be productive. Gotta force yourself to do things until it becomes a habit. Don't slack and it'll get easier. Knowing who you are working for. For me, it's my grandpa and Jesus and my grandma. Set times to do work like a nine to five. Add simple everyday things that are easy to check off your to-do list. It helps keep motivated. Remember that everybody's productivity is different. Accidentally sleeping in doesn't mean your day is off to a bad start, just a later one. Use a timer app on your phone so you feel like you can't go on your phone when you're studying. If you're in an online class, turn on your camera so you won't be tempted to go on your phone. Draw a bigger goal and turn it into the simplest steps as possible. Don't write too much on your to-do list or else it'll stress you out. Only be realistic on how much you can get done in a day. So those were a lot of the responses that you guys gave me. You literally gave me so many I didn't even read all of them but that was the majority of them I really 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 hope you guys enjoyed this and really helped you find some tips that you want to start implementing into your daily life to help you get more things done in the day if you have any questions or any other tips that you want to comment down below make sure you do that so you can share all your favorite tips with everybody else in need especially with school starting soon whether you're online or in person face to face good luck I am praying for you I know that you guys can get so much done especially with a lot of these tips so if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on my post notifications so you know when I post a new video, I post basically whenever I have a new video ready. I don't exactly have a schedule, which is kind of bad and I should make one, but as of right now, I just post whenever. And make sure you like and comment on this video to help support me and help my channel grow. I respond to all my comments and I'd love to talk to you guys, so let's chat in the comments. And follow me on Insta if you want. I post on there all the time and you really just stay updated on my life on there if I'm not posting on YouTube. I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys the sky. Oh, oh.